everyone, my name is Wawa and I am back with a series of matches. It is going to be game 2 of the series. We are going to see Empire Cast will be spawning here at the bottom left corner of the map as the Lutzeran his opponent will be E.G. Idra who will be spawning at the top right corner of the map as the Red Zerg. So this will be game 2 of this best of 3 series. If you guys haven't seen game number 1, go back to my other video and you should you really need to watch that because that's, that was such a good game and you don't want to miss that and you don't want to be left behind because we are going to be talking about that for just one second here in this video as it is again from the DreamHack series this is from the group stages and this is the set that they have played during that during that period in the group stages so yes indeed it is indeed going to be EG Idra versus Empire Cast for this game and game number 2 yep indeed we are going to do this on Samaya Caverns this is a 1v1 map and there's 10 mineral or 10 expansions right here actually or there's 10 bases that you can take here actually mine is the 2 main base you can take 8 more bases from this map but then again both players most likely are not going to be going that far I would assume that they're not going to be going that far because indeed this is indeed a 1v1 map and both players are pretty much familiar of what they can do and what they cannot do in this map and I'm pretty sure Empire Cast knows that it is not smart for him to go macro play or for go for a long macro play against Iji Idra in this map because indeed Iji Idra is very very familiar with this map and I'm pretty sure Empire Cast is well aware of this map because this map has been around for like since the start of the days since the born since someone was born what do you call it I don't even know how they say it says since the start of the beta this map has been around and this map has been always in, in tournaments and tournament map pools and such except for IC cup map tournaments I guess but yeah this is a very very solid map this is one of the most favorite maps of a lot of players actually I don't think EG Idra likes this though I think Idra hates this map because due to the fact that he knows there's a lot of weakness here for Zergs as we do have expansion right here going down for EG Idra look how really how look how nervous he is actually like he didn't even even go for an early hatchery or did he oh, I'm kind of confused now though I think he did one for early hatchery first then he just went for spawn but damn I kind of missed that timing I'm sorry about that guys really really do miss timings like that which is kind of sad and I'm gonna try to do my best or I'm gonna try my best excuse me I'm gonna try my best to avoid missing those timings and just analyze it a little bit more for you guys and I'm pretty sure you guys would want that would definitely want that and I'm pretty sure you guys would definitely want to see pro level comments here from your yours truly I'm gonna try my best, I'm doing my best, and gonna put more time in casting as well, improving myself to be a better caster, to be a better loyal servant leadership, servant leader for you guys. As we do have the hatchery, it's done right now, right here, for Mr. Edra. So, what is happening in team or in camp cause right now? We do have a command center going down right here, and also a factory going down here. So, I'm wondering if he's gonna go com complete the wall off right here for Empire Cast, so he does have an SCV right there most likely he's gonna do so with this just one another supply depot and the SCV is just prepping up to do so in just one second so right now Iji Idra has map control I have to say because it is really really early, early in the stages right there and you can't really tell who map who has map control I'm pretty sure Zerg would rather take that map control because right now there's, there's barely any in it right here in Empire Cast space as the star part is almost done right here as well so he did go for barracks then to a factory then making a command center and then gonna go for a star port so you might see some banshees right there as we do have tech lab attachment right here for that factory as well so yeah banshee is most definitely gonna happen as we do see the switch happening right here for these two buildings so yes indeed that is a very, very sweet trick uh, a lot of people or a lot of turn player really goes for this play even until now it started really long time ago as they call it the 1-1-1 one, one, one play but then again this is actually class variation or the modern day variation of the 1-1-1 one, 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 one play which includes a uh, command center in the middle of the mix so 1-1-1-1 one, 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 I guess you will call this or a 1 then C 1-C-1-1 one, 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 or whatever you call it I don't want to call it a Destiny Fist build 2 as uh, so that is Empire Empire excuse me uh, that is Husky's trademark I guess and I don't really like calling it this new called Fist build because that's his and his alone as the spine crawler is up right here this is actually a good position right here for the spine crawler it really covers a lot of area 
covers this area and this area which covers your ramp and covers this side of the natural expansion as well so that's actually a very very good ground coverage right here as well so we do have good what is this i have not seen this upgrade yet or i'm not really quite familiar with this oh my god the overlord did get sacrificed right there but then again he did see everything that's happening inside the base of cost so that is a very very good plus right there for edra right now edra is well aware that there is this happening right here and do we have the banshee out right now we do have the banshee out i'm not sure where it is though let me try to look at it let me try to look for the banshee banshee where are you i hear it i hear it yes there, there you go the banshee is out right now wow finally saw this banshee but then again he barely killed anything at all right now only had one kill so that is a really really premature banshee because banshees usually have seven kills before they die and it looks like he's not gonna do that and that banshee is just gonna go home get prepared and maybe he's gonna try again another time in a few minutes so we do have the expansion right here going down right now for Kass as well so Kass is gonna try to maximize his natural expansion as fast as possible as that's what you want to do against all opponents I guess and that's what you want to do because and looks like he's gonna go for a little bit of time push right here as we do have three barracks as well here pumping out a lot of marines another supply block right here for Ilji Idra wow he lost another overlord that's actually not a good thing and yeah you, you really want to keep your all of your overlords alive as long as possible especially in this really really sensitive early stages of the game right now almost reaching to the middle parts of the stages of the game and yeah he needs to take care of the overloads as right now it is pretty pretty sensitive and look at that it's actually a little bit behind right now 63 over 68 in favor of cost harvester wise we do have 39 in favor of hydra actually with 49 harvesters so even though that hydra produced more warrior units early in the early stages for security reasons right now he's actually way ahead in the harvester reason but then again he does have or cost does have Mule, mule power actually which really boosts up his economy right now income tab look at that look at that pretty much even right there in terms of income that's the income per minute that comes in and it actually looks like there's more income coming in from cost right there as uh, so those two mules goes and disappear and it's gonna go down a little bit but then again once more mules have been summoned it's gonna, gonna rise up again and gonna be pretty much equal nonetheless so right now empire cost leading by 10 food right now in favor of the blue Terran. the blue Terran is slowly but surely taking the lead but then right now here we go, Hydra is gonna go for his uh, tech, very very uh, tech from the uh, tech uh, which is the Mutalist play. Muta Baneling Zergling play, that's pretty much what his favorite thing is to do right now. Here we go, the Banshee is gonna go for the big kill right here. Wow, this actually is really really low in HP, but then here we go, the Mutalists are out right now. Is he gonna be able to snipe it off? No, he's not even gonna be able to snipe off that hatch, the Banshee right there. He was able to cancel off that hatchery though, so that's a nice play right there by Empire Kaas. Wow, a little bit of good arrasing right there, and this is gonna delay the third expansion very, 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 very heavily, actually. And yeah, and as a Zerg player, you really want that hatchery up and running as soon as possible because you don't want to be running two base against two base, especially in this map, which is a really small map, and where you can unit where your opponent can summon a lot of units from both sides or to to opposite sides of the map in rapid succession here we go oh Epi empire Ka sees the hatchery being made right here so that's a very very nice find right there and i'm not sure if dg indra can can defend and if ever Hydra or empire cast decides to attack that as this hatchery is about to be finished and i think it's pretty much wiser if empire cast waited a couple minutes before he attacks that because he just wants that to be finished and not that cancelled by Adria. if ever if he's gonna be able to do it that's gonna be a very very big progress right there and here we go we see the hatchery or the meal is gonna try to harass here but then again it is pretty much well defended with missile turrets right now so emperor cast know what he needs to do and here we go the mercy gonna surround here the zergnes are gonna come in but then again the bane is really late for the party and the medevac is gonna take all of those marines away all mules are gonna come in here as well well vikings are out as so, well oh so many marines and all those banes are gonna be left alone left for not wow they were barely useful at all right now and he did cancel the hatchery that's actually the best choice that he did right now this is actually the second best choice that he did after that first cancellation for his first hatch right here but again that's very primarily uh, a reason why he made it maybe because he just wants to just attract the attention of cost and just take it away from the area right here by Idra because Idra wants to take this hatchery this is actually the most safest area for a third expansion right now and he doesn't want to deviate away from that uh, spot as uh, as possible or as, more, as much as possible here we go a little bit more harassment right here from this minus. wow the viking really really have a long long range right here and really doing a lot of damage actually to this minus. this minus can barely do anything at all against this viking 
But now he's actually gonna go for the gold expansion. I don't really like this right now. 129 over 101 in food right now in favor of the blue Terran. I don't really like taking this gold because you are going up against a Terran which has very very good map control right now. He does have tanks out right there to kill off a lot of ground units. And if he ever decides to just siege up right here, you can actually do so and just take out your gold expansion very very easily. So he needs to be careful when taking that. But again, here we go. Two hatcheries are going to be going up right now. Oh, Emperor Cross finding again another hatchery right here on the high ground by the 9 o'clock position. He's going to be able to take down the overlord. But then again, is he going to be able to force a cancer right here on this hatchery? Most likely he will do so. Where are the mules? The mules are going to come in right now. He's not even going to cancel. Oh, he didn't cancel. Wow. Big blunder right there by Iggy. They're losing 300 minerals, but they can finally cleaning up the drop crew right there. Whoa, Empire Cost. This is pretty close right now. Empire Cost still in the lead though, in terms of food supply, and he does have gold expansion right there, which is really gonna boost up his economy, especially when it starts dropping down mules right there in the mineral line. But we do have Zergnes right here lying in the back. Maybe he's gonna morph that into Bainings very, very shortly. We will see that in just one second. What he's planning there, or he's just gonna go for a runway, but he can't because there are. Miss uh, supply depots right here blocking that area and actually here we go oh EJ is gonna try to snap up some mules right here is he gonna be able to do some one SCP or one C shot goes down I think a couple of uh, wow a couple of hurt mules right here floating around right now I don't really like those looks of those some of those mules they're really really red and blushing and you don't really want to see that in action whenever they're look, whenever they're looking like that and I think Koss is gonna go for a push in just one second he does have a very very good sized army right here and Aja is actually gonna go for another expansion right here and yeah I think that's the best thing he can do right now he doesn't want to go for another expansion here by the gold and right now Koss is just checking it out if see if there is an expansion indeed right there for Mr. Edja, which is there is none right now. And look at this owl oh, Empire Cross is gonna go to the back door area and gonna siege up right there with the high ground, which is gonna help him out a lot. Is he in range of the hatchery? Yes, indeed, he's in range of the hatchery. That's really, really useful for him right now. And Ijiria can't lose this hatchery right now. Wow, losing all of the mines right there already. Just running all those drones away and he's gonna actually gonna go for the counter attack right here oh he's gonna check, clean up all these units bainings are gonna come in here as well missile turrets are doing so much damage to those mills where are the bainings right now the bainings haven't done anything at all and he's just gonna try to go for the main base right now he does have a lot of mills right here still up and running he should just run all those bainings right there inside the mineral land but then he's not gonna do so how many harvesters do we have we have 69 over 54 in favor of Idra or in favor of the Terran right now this is so bad for Idra that is not a good thing Idra has to GG he knows he knows that it was not a good thing for him and yes indeed that forced him the GG uh, pretty everything was pretty much looking good for Idra as he was really much behind by 40 food supply at this point so yes indeed it is now 1-1 one, one, so an epic game number 3 is about to happen so stay tuned guys I'll be casting that in just one second be sure to check in for that